as you can see, we tried to head out of here to the truck. And Matthew was behind still looking at the ground and he said, Whoa, I may have a smoker. Would that wouldn't that be a way to end the day, huh? Holy cow. I could only say Holy cow. <laughs> You know half the fun of going on any of these trips, whether it's hunting arrowheads or deer hunting or fishing or whatever it is, but half the fun is spending time with your friends. It's the fellowship and the camaraderie. It's cooking elk sausage on the grill. discussing what you want to find or what you think you're going to find during the day. Who's going to find what today? Well, I'll find a rock. A <laughs> rock. I want a Collins or a Bayou Gula. Collins or a Bayou Gula? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with my usual. I want something big <laughs> and well made. I just want anything. Yeah, just I anything? Go yeah. anything and do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's really what it's all about. It's, it's the trip, not the destination. Hey everybody, Spike here with Heartbreaker Relics. Welcome back to our channel. We're back over here, as you can see on the power line today. We had Matthew and Chris behind the camera and we got Merida with us today. Merida's already pulled a, a broke one. We'll show you that in a little bit, but uh, right now I've got something in the wall which was strictly luck because I'm not a free digger. So what <laughs> we're going to do, we're going to, uh, we're going to get down here and dig it out with a knife and y'all can, y'all can see with us what it is. It may not be anything and it may just be a big old point. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. What is that? Nah, just a, another big old work chunk. What? Anyway, how you doing? I get down here. Hey, yo, hey, hi, huh? <laughs> uh, but uh, but no doubt, for the day's over, we're gonna find something there. And Chris and I are eventually gonna probably make it up top of that hill with the metal detectors and see if we can find some more of that gun and maybe an old coin or two. That'll work. Yeah, y'all stay with us. All right, it's been I don't know, 30 minutes since I found that nothing, and of course the first person on the board with a real well, no, Meredith's got two brokes, but Matthew said he got a drill. Let's see. Huh, there would be an icicle on, on my nose. <laughs> Hold on, let me clean this. Get out. All right. All right. Bring it on in here. Get a, let me see that, and let me get a shot of it right here <laughs> on this side. That's it right there. Well... I don't know if that's a drill or not. Sheared point. No, it's a hole. It's a blade, ain't eh? it? It's a blade. It's a blade. Well, it's a nice one. Yeah. yeah it is. We put a little water on that. Uh, I thought it was going to be a paddle drill, but. Oh, that's nice from that side, huh? That yeah, sure is. It does. Good color, man. We don't know whether to put on clothes or take off clothes. You, <laughs> it's either too cold or too hot. But we got a, we got a maybe. And uh, I think it is. It's Chris, and uh, we're gonna take you along as always if I can keep the shadow out of it. And what color is it? Green. Here's water. Wait a minute, let me get down here. 
It looks good. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, that's a... Oh! oh. What do you reckon that is? That's, that's Cortex on there, huh? Just a big old a long blade. But that's cool. I thought it was like a Santa Fe or something at first. Yeah, I thought it was like a Lance Lake. Or yeah, something, something yeah, like Santa Fe. Well, well, that's worth a hey, fist bump. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. Just find a better one. Yeah, I hear you. I'll stay with it. Oh, by the way, I tell you always going up on that hill and metal detect later. I left my metal detector in the truck back at Matthew's house. So looks like it'd be just Chris swinging. Then I hit something very promising right below the topsoil. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh, God. How disappointing. But it's a nice blade. I like that blade. Well, we're stuck on blades. Yeah, we're today. stuck on blades today. But that's a nice blade. God. Oh, gonna. That is a nice blade. Look, hold it in your hand, man. That's a, that's a big work piece. Yeah. <clears throat> What do we have? A big old blade with the cortex still on the end. And there's a name for those where they leave the cortex on them. I forget it's what called it called a ball peen. <laughs> yeah, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> might be. But, uh, that's better than a sharp say, stick and eye. That's, that looks good. All right. Yeah. All right, y'all, finally. Chris said I got a good one. And I looked down at his hole, and he certainly does. We ain't worried uh, about you, Matthew, son. Uh, I didn't think Matthew was going to make it. But uh, I'm going to cut this off and wait on him to get here, and we'll cut it back on. All right, Matthew's back. And uh, we're going to film with two. We film with two right. just in case something happens. It's a small one, but it's just a beauty. All right. Wait, I should have brought that light. Let me get There you go. fine and you know I don't even know what it is looks like one of those Louisiana points or it's something just a sharpened down gear yeah probably you think so probably oh, listen at him down great yeah, my point over there. hey there's nothing I'd love to find that point <laughs> give me a bump yes sir I have to say that, that go in my fine, case Hoss. you doggone right boy it feels good to be ahead of Matthew <laughs> Sullivan at this point <laughs> in the day it's a good day <laughs> I'm proud for you hey man I'm I'm proud. Give me a fist bump. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Thought Let me hold that man. I get a good close up. Of yeah, it. heck yeah. I it was uh, uh, and while they're looking at that, and Matthew's getting some some footage on his phone, he was out here the other day by himself. Found how many did you find? A couple, huh? Yeah, and my phone went bad on me, but I got some good footage. So right now, before we go any further, let's jump over and uh. I'll show you what Matthew did the other day and the fine little point that he found out here by himself. I came over here by myself today uh, to the power line spot and I, I usually come with people but I had a few minutes today and I just slipped off and wanted to dig a little spot that uh, we had not already dug. Hadn't been digging but just a few minutes. Pretty little point just came out. And I'm going to show it to y'all. It's either a Bayou Gula or a Collins. I get them mixed up. Uh, who cares as long as you find the points? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get the recovery here. See it right there? All right. That is a true arrow tip in our area, Collins, Bayou Goulas. They were pretty late in the game as far as uh, arrowheads and uh, 
they're only uh, sometimes about a thousand years old, maybe a little older, give or take. That's pretty cool, huh? So, uh, you can find them by yourself, it's just not as much fun. But we're going to get back to digging, y'all stay with us, and Matthew's got some sausage on the grill, or fixing to have some sausage on the grill, and we'll see what else we can find out here, y'all. Yeah? Alright, finally, Meredith's got him one. He wasn't sure what it was, and he picked it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, once I wash yeah. it off, it'll look yeah. pretty good. Heck yeah, you know what that, what I believe it is? Let me see. It looked like it might be a little Gary, uh, what do you call that? Uh, LaFleur. LaFleur. Well, you guys know all that stuff. Yeah, give me a bump. Let me look Thank you. All right, my phone's ringing. I see who that is. Probably ran to me. Y'all stay with us. We're out here trying to figure out what's been dug and what hasn't been dug. I thought this had, but I hit something with my probe. And I dug around it with the shovel and picked it up. And I was going across there and the clod fell in two pieces. And there was a piece of sandstone right on top. And I thought that's what I had. And I went and put the rest of the dirt in the sift and was walking back across here. And uh, did you see it down there? I need to get the water. Yeah. Meredith, could you bring that water? Absolutely. I'm going to go ahead and pull it. It's just a blade, but it's a good, pretty good it's one. It's a good one, yeah. You remember Will right over in there when we first came out here? Mm -hmm. Will found two just the same, and we found, what, three today or something like that? Mm-hmm. I found a good one that first day. Did you? So yeah. that, was, that was two, three back there and several today. There's a lot of blades here. I can't believe how that happened. It fell off that shovel and I was walking back across there and saw it. I wish it had been a point, but yeah, what a point only difference is a point's got a stem or a bay. This is they still needed it. It was an artifact, huh? So they needed it for something. Pretty color. Yeah it is. Well folks, this is the day of the blade. We have got another one married to come over and said, y'all tell me what I got. And uh, y'all see it down there? That's got good shape. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy okay. with it. <clears throat> oh, nice point on there. Yeah. Oh, look at that red. That heat yeah. treated. That's good looking. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Can I hold it? Sure. <clears throat> Did it? Nope, I that's probably, an old knot. I probably would have broken it if I had not hit that big red rock first. That's a sandstone? That's a nice blade there, Hoss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me a bump. That's worth a bump. I like it. Give me a bump. Sure. All right. <clears throat> hey, y'all. Matthew's luck has turned. What do they do that in, like a, in the golf course? Matthew, he's on the... He's on the seventeenth hole down there and he's about how many strokes behind? About nine or ten strokes. Nine or ten strokes behind. But he's got a pocket full of brokes and it looks like the low I hope it's not because he's kinda of keeping us afloat lately, but uh he's he got a pocket full of brokes. And uh, a little bit later we'll film all these brokes for you. Somebody call the dogs who walk. Somebody call the dogs who walk. I don't wanna die no more. What the hell are we fighting for? Mama said, please don't go. Mama said, please don't go. She said, son, you're gonna die for sure if you fight the devil's war.
the day you worry not, try not to feel. Old men talking, young men die, young men fight and don't know why. Sons are lost on both sides, mama sit at home and cry. Florida, I reckon. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, Matthew! All I can find is broke today, but I found a pocket full of them. Oh, oh, oh. Boy, that would have been a dandy. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's recover this one, Chris. Oh, look at That's that. just like it point I found. Uh huh. Got a little bit of tip there. But yeah, ain't, ain't much hurt, of one. Ain't enough to hurt it, though. That'd go in a case all day. Yeah, heck yeah. Look, there's a flake there, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, they just, up until then, there wasn't any in there. Yep. Bump. Bump. <laughs> all right, uh, Matthew. Yep. Time for you to pull one out now. Yep. Well, I like it's coming right. The best digging spot. Right, <laughs> right <laughs> before we go home, he'll pull out half a dozen of them. Uh, Y'all stay with us. It ain't over yet. All right, we we left down below the hill down there and came up where we found the uh, the gun part last time, the uh, hammer to the to the muzzle loader. Chris brought his metal detector and me left mine in Matthew's. I mean, in my truck at Matthew's house. But uh, Meredith found this and chunked it over on. It was laying on top of the ground, ain't what, isn't that what he said? It was on top when I, I and, don't know what I believe. This is about one of the coolest things. I told him if I'd have found that, it would have made my day. Look at what a skeleton key. <laughs> Look at that. Hold up against that black shirt. Have you show on Netflix about the skeleton key? Uh-uh. No, it's kind of spooky. Yeah, I don't watch spooky shows. That is, hey, that is cool as it can be. Oh, it's going to go in a case. Oh, I don't blame you. Uh, put it in there with that gun. That flint, that uh, part, and you might, you might. I don't know if you could even heat that up. If if anybody knows how to straighten those things, uh, let us know in the comments. But that is absolutely, that's just cool, Chris. <laughs> I'm sorry, but well, uh, Mer Meredith claims he found it and uh, oh, yeah. just chunked it down. I I hit it with my mind lab here. I said that sounds like a good sound, and uh, looked down. It was laying right on top. Yeah. I would imagine that would give a good signal. Yeah, it was reading it. Man, like that is just... Look at that thing. Look, that thing is huge. <laughs> it is, ain't it? <laughs> that is absolutely... Give me a bump anyway. That's just cool. I think that thing can be straightened out. Yeah, I it may can, but that's... Uh, it's, and you make it... I don't know, but I know... I've got a Civil War bridle bit that, that you can't straighten. Really? Yeah, it's... I don't know. It's made out of some kind of material like that. Yeah, that's going in a case. Yeah, you doggone right, Hoss. All right, y'all stay with us. We in a new spot. They gon' they gonna try some digging over there, and uh, probably pull the sifter out in a little bit and try some too. Spike, Merida, and Chris are up there on the hill, and I walked back down here to dig a minute before we left, and I just pulled out a smoking hot drill pencil drill it'll clean up real nice it'll go in the case really good too not leaving smoked did find one thing hole just roll one out here pretty little point that all day. All right, everybody, you uh, you expert metal detectorist in Civil War and 
uh, rev war stuff. Is this, you know, we found the, the hammer mechan the hammer off of that uh, flint lock. Is this part off of that gun? Is this part uh, part of the trigger guard or something like that? I don't know. It's old. You can tell it's old. So let us know in the comments if you know. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting on the bucket here a few minutes ago, and old Spike was on this end over here, barked. I thought a squirrel dog or something had done something. not a house within a mile and a half here. That's where that dog come from. <laughs> I tell you what you do in Walmart now. <laughs> People in there with their little service dogs and sitting in the buggy and they'll be acting up. I go over on the next aisle and I go. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> they get all care. They don't know what to do. <laughs> but I do them dog, a bigger dog. I go. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> Get down there, come out. I was hitting it with my shovel. I knocked it out of the side. <laughs> finally, finally, sun's going down. It's five o'clock, and I raked one out of the side there, Hoss. It was in subsoil, wasn't it? Yeah, well, you can see where it come out of that hole right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was in subsoil, yeah. And uh, you can reach in there and get it if you want to, because I don't know if I can get back down there. I'm going to let Matt get down there. <clears throat> oh, oh, yeah. What a neat little base on that thing. Thank you, Jesus. There you go. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. We got, what, is there any water down here? I don't even know if we brought down the water back. In that creek? I ain't going down. Look at this thing. Man, that is fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Well, congratulations. Thank man. you, bud. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm proud for you. Uh, I appreciate it. It's yeah, been man. slow, but. Yeah, it's been slow, but. When you rate one out after eight hours of doing this, <laughs> yeah. it's fun. As you can see, we tried to head out of here to the truck, and Matthew was behind, still looking at the ground, and he said, Oh, I may have a smoker. Would that. Wouldn't that be a way to end the day, huh? Holy cow! I can only say. Holy say cow! Again. Oh, what made you get it with? That camera's better. That phone's better. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Oh, Ooh. it's there! It's there! Oh! 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 Good great. Good great. What a way to end the day. That is an arrowhead. We have walked over it all day long. Look, the sun is already going down. Get that bottle. Good, Good Lord. Jeez. Oh, we... All right, I'm gonna turn this off because he's got that, and then I'm gonna get some with my, with my phone. But no, I'm not gonna turn it off because he's he's car washing. He's gonna swallow that thing, and we got to do a esophagectomy or something. What kind of base is that on there? That's a that's a Collins, ain't it, Matthew? I think it's Collins. What when I move it with that tip? No, oh, when I saw when you moved it, I saw it in the dirt. I knew it was whole. What you thought about that, Chris? Mm. Eh? Typical day yeah. when you hunt with a yeah. moxin, man. Yeah. Before we get out of here, we want to give a shout out to Mr. Grady Anderson with Arrowhead, Arrowhead Cases. Uh, if you need any case, I'm going to leave some information down in the description below. And uh, for, for any of your frames, cases, and stuff, that's, that's some of what, what we use. But Grady has been, he's, he's, he's putting them out left and right, y'all. And I said, holy God, folks, that, that, oh my goodness. All right, everybody, 
That's going to be it for the day. Thank you all for coming along. We appreciate it if you made, this far, made it this far and you liked it. Please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please think about doing that. Don't cost you a dime. It's all absolutely free. And while you're at it, check out some of the merchandise below. And we'll catch you all on the next one.